Hey, my name is Sean, and this is Go. And on today's episode, we're gonna be talking about the new Nissan 400Z Proto. The 400Z has what I'll call a retro design, taking uh, design cues from past Z cars. This car is gonna have 400 horsepower with a six speed manual as standard and it's going to be five inches longer than the past z now what i will say is i'm not a fan of the 350 to 370z's roof line but there's nothing you can do about that this car is already about to come out we're talking uh, 2021 is a 2022 model year car Overall, I'll say I do like the design, even though I do have issues with uh, retro looking cars, replacing modern futuristic looking cars. I Even though the 370Z wasn't a modern futuristic car, but there are a lot of cars that came before this in different brands that look so far flung in the future that it would be jarring to know that this car actually came out years later the aston martin vanish esque design doesn't really hurt the car even though that front end with that rectangle design is terrible like throw that out do something that's just off-putting and I will say the rear end is my favorite part of the car. I think that part of the car is basically flawless. And no, I'm not like Doug DeMiro. I don't believe that the simpler designs are more beautiful or anything like that. I just think it's simple. There's no flaws in the design. It's not all over the place. And that's cool. You know, it's not the best looking because it's so damn plain. So as Nissan misses golden opportunity with the Z, and I have to say, yes, they should have replaced this car ages ago. This car was old five, six years ago. And the fact that it took them to this time now to replace it is a crying shame. But there's no telling what they would have came up with if they did uh, replace the car years ago seeing what uh, Honda's done with the NSX and what Toyota's done with the Supra uh, something tells me that Nissan in the past would have gone down that same road and pissing a lot of people off even though I don't think the blowback would have been as strong as it was with the NXX and Supra because those cars were off the market for a long time before they got replacement nobody's had the chance to miss the z so you know i don't think too many people would have been upset but this car is more driver focused with the manual and it's more power than the last model even though it's only a v6 of course nobody's expecting a v8 in their jdms at this point and I think if the pricing is right and the performance is above average, then this car will sell. I think 30 to 45k is the right pricing. I don't know why they would try to go above that chasing the supermarket because even that sounds strange. It's not like I said supermarket, but <laughs> believe me, I didn't. The Supra market where they're really chasing after hardcore modders with some of the stuff and fake vents and crazy lines they added to that car we'll have to wait and see what uh, nissan is chasing after right now i'm a little underwhelmed with the new z car maybe i was hoping for more aggression not more power just maybe a more stunning look it's just to me this is a little too plain even though there's some aspects of the car i actually do like and hopefully it'll have um convertible version uh automatic version for those that want it and if they don't they don't and hopefully the car will sell so you know they can come out with other iterations and hopefully 
this one doesn't overstay its welcome like the last generation because that was craziness. And I don't know the financial state of Nissan, so I don't know if the GTR is going anywhere. I don't know if they're going to try to use this car as a Halo car. I have to research some of that because it's not like their lineup is, you know, the best right now. They have a lot of garbage cars and a lot of old SUVs, just a lot of oldness. And hopefully this will be... Uh, the ushering of a new era of Nissan where they get their act together and come out with cars that are uh, up to a modern standard on you know, both Nissan and Infiniti because they really need it. So tell me what you think about the 400Z Proto. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you want one? Are you going to buy one? Are you ready to see what Nissan has plan for the future or are you just upset that it took them this long to replace this car let me know in the comments and if you like these videos like the video if you dislike the video dislike the video if you want to see what i got planned next come see what i got planned next i got a lot of stuff for this channel really want you guys to be there with me with that said i'll catch you later <laughs>